Hey friends, another week of exciting tastiness coming your way and today we are talking something very trendy. It is colourful, it is raw uh, to some extent and it is something that's popping up in all forms of city across not only America but across the world. Uh, let me get you into it. It's kind of Asian influence with flavour, it's got seafood as predominant source and you'll see it a lot in Hawaii. Yes, I'm talking about poke bowls or pokey. And so I thought I would show you guys how you can make your own pokey, take to lunch or even just have it at home for lunch or dinner, breakfast if you're keen. To start off with my friends, I'm going to cook up base and that is brown rice. So two to one water to rice. If you need any specific help on how to perfect the perfect cooking of rice, holler at me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. And from there, you just kind of spoon that out. When you go to a pokey store, they, they go all out in this. It's not like they add like, you know, half a cup, two cups. They go like, honestly, I'd probably say it's about two and a half cups of brown rice. Um, on top of that, so then you've got things like avocado, cucumbers, uh, obviously the salmon, the seaweed. Oh my God, that seaweed. I can have that by the bucket load. It is so tasty. It's got sesame number, slightly little sweetness to it as well. Yes, so good. You've obviously got your soy sauce, your sesame oil, we've got some rice wine vinegar just for acidity. I've also had some chili peppers and there's black sesame seeds in there later too. But to start off with, the first thing you need to do is create extra flavor for that beautiful sashimi salmon. So into your salmon, which is chopped up in a bowl, add in some sesame oil along with some of that soy sauce. Set that aside, it is done. No need to worry about it any further. You can add cream and things like that, but I'm, I'm all about just keeping it pretty clean. Then it's time for the cucumbers. So what I've done is I've just sliced them in half. I've taken the top and tail off, sliced it in half down the length, and then done a really quick semi-circle chop. So you get a half moon. As you see here, yeah, we get half moon. So it's super simple. I love the way it's kind of textural and you get a bit of everything on that. So then to that, you just put that into a bowl with some sesame oil, some soy sauce, and some of that rice wine vinegar, which is going to help it really break down. It's what the acidity does. And finish it off with some chili peppers. Win. You've got your salmon all set aside. You've got your seaweed already set because you can just pick that up from the supermarket. And on top of that, you've got your pickling, which is your cucumber. You've already cooked your brown rice, so start off by having that set out and put that into a bowl. Top that with some of that beautiful cucumber pickle. Make sure you save some for later. It's beautiful as a snack too. Then go on with your seaweed. Oh my god, this guy is so good. Honestly, you can have that every day of the week. Then I added in my salmon. And then, you know, to be honest, I have not really ever come across one that I didn't like with avocado. So, I get my avocado. What I've done here is it's kind of like a fan trick. You don't have to do this. It's kind of like a presentation thing. But just slice it down, making sure you don't go all the way to the end. Squash it down and then place it on top. Super easy. I used about half of a half, so technically a quarter. But you can have as much as you want. From there, I sprinkled over some black sesame seeds and a little bit of sriracha at the end, just because I love a bit of spice. Nothing wrong with that. And to be honest, that is your bowl. And as I said, you can add some things like kake, which is like a Asian kind of textual, um, you know, number on top. You can add some nuts. You can add crab. Like it just goes to any environment. Last week, I wrapped filming for my series here in the US, which is really exciting. I cannot wait for you to see it. So that was really busy. So thank you so much for all the love that you guys saw on Instagram and Twitter. Really stoked at how many of you made the salted fudge brownie. Yes, sending shockers your way, legends. Let me know what you think of this recipe, guys. Comment down below. Make sure you hit subscribe, because next week, I've got something pretty interesting when it comes to using a vegan meringue. Wink. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, I've got plenty more exciting news coming your way too. Maybe something else a space that a chef works at, potentially. Oh my god, the news is so exciting. Anyway guys, so much to tell you. But for now, uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Please reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram, any form of social, because I want to know what you guys love. And this pokey spot was totally because of you guys. My friends, I'm sending so much tasty love your way. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you next time for an exciting recipe. Bye.